Great view on Elsto, Atlantis. I love it when a plane comes together. Amen. The doors in the process of swinging open. The starboard door, as you can see, is already open. The port door to follow. You're looking right down uh, at the front end of the Raffaello multipurpose logistics module, uh, carrying uh, some 8,000 pounds of logistics uh, supplies uh, to fortify the International Space Station for the next year. On the far right, uh, nestled against the uh, payload bay door is the shuttle's robotic arm that will be uh, unfurled and tested uh, within the next few hours by Commander Chris Ferguson and pilot Doug Hurley in advance of its grappling of the orbiter boom sensor system uh, for the initial inspection of uh, the shuttle's thermal protection system tomorrow. Now the port door begins to swing open. In this uh, split screen image on the left is the shuttle's KU band communications antenna, which also will be deployed a short time from now. And the mechanical systems officer reports the payload bay doors have been opened for the final time on Atlantis. Here in the uh, flight control room, Flight Director Richard Jones now polling his team to get a go for on-orbit operations. Atlantis, we just pulled the room, and you are go for overdots. Go for overdots. Great news, Houston. Thanks. So with that, uh, the crew uh, will begin the process of doffing uh, their launch and entry suits, and uh, we'll press ahead now uh, for the deployment of the KU band communications antenna and the setup of uh, the laptop computers on board uh, the orbiter. Also on tap, the activation of the star trackers, uh, the stowage of the escape pole, and other items uh, that will clear the path uh, for the uh, rest of the day's activities that will culminate in the crew uh, going to sleep uh, around 7 p.m. Central Time tonight. 